Good evening. The woman accused of shooting and killing her husband in Southampton County faced a judge today. I'm Tom Shad in for Stephanie Hudson and I'm Regina Mobley. Stephanie Mulder faces murder, gun and drug charges. Deputies found her husband shot to death on Ivor Road back in February. 10 on your side learned Mulder was a Southampton County deputy for five years. Rape and pain is live in the newsroom with what happened during Mulder's bond hearing this morning. A deputy turned accused killer denied bond today. The court saying Stephanie Mulder still poses a threat to the community. Trading the badge for handcuffs. Stephanie Mulder was a Southampton County deputy for five years, now being investigated by that very department. She faces three charges in connection with the murder of her husband, Jonathan, on February 2nd. Three charges were second degree murder, use of a firearm and the commission of the second degree murder, and then the possession of a weapon uh, while in possession of a Schedule 1 or Schedule 2 controlled substance. A criminal complaint obtained by 10 on your side states Mulder and Jonathan were smoking crack cocaine at the time of the shooting. During the Thursday morning bond hearing, it was revealed Jonathan's one-year-old child in the house at the time. Mulder told the Southampton County Sheriff's Office she only shot her husband when he pointed his own weapon at her. But after no other gun was found on scene, investigators say she changed her story, saying she shot him multiple times after he assaulted her and thought he was reaching for a gun. Mulder had filed two protective orders against her husband in the past. Despite initial questioning, she was not arrested and left to stay with her mother in West Virginia. She kept in contact with the authorities. The authorities knew where she was. Mulder turned herself in after learning of the charges she faced. Although the courts say that showed good faith, she was still denied bond. She was not a risk of flight because she came and turned herself in, but that she was a danger to the community and so the court uh, denied bond. Broccoletti thinks the court made a mistake. She has no prior criminal record. She has no history. She was law enforcement. She left law enforcement voluntarily. She wasn't kicked out in that regard. Mulder's next court date is scheduled for July 20th. In the newsroom, Raven Payne, 10 on your side.